Chris, returns from recess this week. Will it be able to focus on immigration reform as planned, or will all eyes turn to Syria? With me now, New York Congressman Hakeem Jeffries. Uh, Congressman, good to see you. Good to see you, Craig. First of all, off the bat here, what do you make of, of the latest developments in, in this part of the world? Well, I think the Middle East has been uh, a difficult location with challenges all across the region. Uh, the president will demonstrate leadership as it relates to a very complex situation. I mean, Craig, we've got uh, Syria with the regime and Iran and Hezbollah on one side, and we've got al-Qaeda al fighters and foreign uh, entities getting involved on the other. And so we've got to proceed uh, with clarity, but we also have to proceed with caution as it relates to this situation. Because has has there been clarity to this point? I mean, there are a lot of folks who've said that, that, that uh, based on uh, the White House's response, uh, that there's been anything but clarity from the administration on, on, on its response. To well, this is a tough situation, a very dangerous part of the world. And so I think that uh, the president understands that this is a complex situation. We're going to continue to support uh, Israel as it relates to the ex existential threats that it perceives uh, to its own security. Uh, but I think that as long as we are able to isolate some of the al-Qaeda fighters and the foreign entities that seek to penetrate on the rebel side, then we will be able to move forward and support them increasingly in the weeks and the months to come. You represent a very diverse district here in New York. Uh, I want to turn to immigration here for just a moment. In an interview uh, with Telemundo's InfoK, President Obama sounding optimistic, but also acknowledged that immigration reform has a very long road ahead. Take a listen. There will be a number of ups and downs and near-death experiences as this thing uh, travels, uh, but uh, when you look at where the American people are, uh, where not just Democrats and independents, but also Republicans in the public are around uh, the need for uh, uh, sensible immigration reform, uh, you know, then I think that uh, we can get this done. <laughs> near-death experiences. Uh, what do you think is going to be the, the, the biggest hurdle, the single greatest obstacle for this piece of legislation? Well, I think that there will be some on the House side of the equation who will find it very difficult to support a robust pathway towards citizenship. But the reality is that anything other than a pathway towards citizenship is inconsistent with who we are as Americans. We've never supported second-class citizenship in any form. We fought that uh, in the Civil War. We've uh, enacted a 14th Amendment that makes clear that everyone is entitled to equal protection of the law. I think that America and Americans understand that we're a nation of immigrants. We're made stronger when people come from other parts of the world, hardworking, industrious, entrepreneurial people. That said, uh, there will be some on the other side of the aisle who have a problem uh, as it relates to what they call amnesty, but what in reality really will be a tough but fair pathway toward allowing people who are currently undocumented to ultimately experience the American dream. Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, good to see you, sir. I do appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming here. It's an open invitation. I know you're close by, so anytime you want to stop in on a weekend, we'll